Hey guys, how are you doing today? So the title of this is Watchmen on the Wall, and I'm reading from Ezekiel uh, chapter 33. It's Ezekiel 32 chapter 33. Okay. And again, the word of the Lord came on to me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of the people and say unto them, when I bring a sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, that's what takes a man and, be, and he becomes a watchman, and he sets him for the, a watchman. If when he, the watchman, sees a sword coming upon the land and he blows the trumpet and warns the people, then whoever hears the sound of the trumpet that the watchman's blowing and he doesn't listen to it, he doesn't take warning, if the sword then comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head because he didn't listen to the watchman. He heard the sound of the trumpet and didn't listen to the warning. <clears throat> his blood shall be upon his head. But he that takes the warning and listens, his soul will be delivered. So when the watchman is calling out a warning and you don't listen to that person, then when something comes, talking about you, America, it's going to be on your own self. You're going to say in that day, oh, why is God allowing this? Because you didn't listen to the watchman. I'm here to say, listen to the watchman. Yes, I'm speaking strongly because America is under judgment. Take heed and listen so your soul will be delivered because we are going to be taken over as a nation. I've seen it in open visions. We're going to be taken over. Heed the watchman. I'm saying to you. All right, chapter 33, 5. But if the watchman sees the sword comes and blows not the trumpet, so now if the watchman who was set upon to warn the people sees the sword coming, sees the danger coming, because there are watchmen like that, and doesn't warn the people and blow the trumpet, his blood or her blood will be upon her or his head because he didn't warn the people. He is taken away in iniquity. So thou, O son of man, and he's talking to Ezekiel, I have set you as a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, you shall hear the word of my mouth and warn them from me. Now, I'm going to say something. He set Ezekiel in the house of Israel to be a watchman because that's God's mercy. You, don't, you think God doesn't have watchmen or watchwomen today to set before a nation to warn you? He does. He does. He's still the same God. He's still the same Lord and moves and operates in that way. So take heed, Christian, and listen, because the signs of the times are all around you. We are in the end times. My time is up.